No, I think there are uh, four elements to it. Uh, one of them is to ensure that you are eating well, and that means eating a broadly kind of Mediterranean style diet. Um, all my books basically contain information on how to do that. My latest book, which is called Fast Asleep, is also primarily about how you can improve and get a good night's sleep, because we know that sleep is unbelievably good for your immune system. And that is because a lot of your immune fighting cells are generated during the night when you are asleep. They're generated and they are released. And in one really very impressive study done a few years ago, they took 160 healthy middle-aged people and they got them to wear activity monitors, which measure how much sleep you're getting. They brought them into a lab and then they squirted common cold viruses up their noses. And then they kept them in isolation for six days, monitoring their sleep, but also monitoring who actually went on to develop the common cold. And what they found was that if you slept less than six hours a night, then you were nearly four and a half times more likely to get the cold, to get infected, uh, than if you were sleeping seven hours. And the uh, finding was even more striking uh, if you slept badly. If you slept badly, you were seven times more likely to get the cold. And that shows you just how powerful the immune system is, that you have this group of people, all of whom were exposed to exactly the same virus, exactly the same dose, and yet one group came down with it in huge numbers, and the other group largely avoided it. It's a pretty stressful time, though. There are a lot of us who are out of work or facing severe financial hardship. We're worried for our our relatives, our loved ones, particularly those that are perhaps more senior. It, it, you know, it's a really hard time for all of us, I think. So sleep is pretty tough. Have you got any tips around that? Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. And the thing about uh, sleep is one of the big disruptors is going to be stress. And people are unbelievably stressed at this time. The book Fast Asleep also contains lots of tips on how to manage stress. And if you are sleeping better, if you're eating better, that will also reduce your stress levels, whatever your actual outward circumstances, if you like. You will, you know, you will be more resilient. And uh, one of the things I would recommend people do, for example, is they practice mindfulness. You can get apps now, things like Headspace, Calm. Um, I do that every morning, 10 or so minutes, do it a couple of times a day. Uh, these are really good ways of managing your stress because you can do nothing about your external circumstances, but you can absolutely do something about the way you handle those circumstances.